Welcome back everybody to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial with yours truly, Chase Gilroy. I set out to gather clips for this tutorial, the masking tutorial, and ended up coming up with a video. I did an epic iPhone 6 Ben test video where I pretend to blow up my iPhone and cleverly use masks to pull it off. So check out this clip. Wow, it's really gone there, isn't it? So, basically, using masks, I made it appear as though the iPhone was sitting right there beside that explosion and could potentially be, well, destroyed. But, what I did was use masks. So, let me show you this clip. Basically, you have to have two, two clips of the exact same camera angle. That's the most important part to pulling this off. Your camera angles have to be exact. The lighting, the position, everything. The first shot, the iPhone sitting on the bench by itself, nothing happening. Then, I went and created the actual explosion clip. And I'll play that for you now. And so what I did was cut it at the exact moment, the explosion basically took over the full frame of the screen. So right about there, I cut the clip and then masked it. And I'll show you that now. If you look here, this is the original clip that has the explosion. And if we zoom in, hit Command Plus, you can see that I have a mask applied to this layer and you don't see anything below it. So the whole time this clip is playing, it's just a hole there. And if I drill in to show you in the compound clip, which is this over here, you can see that underneath my masked clip, I have that iPhone clip where the iPhone is sitting there. Watch closely, I can hide the view of this clip by hitting V and you'll see my mask right there. Pretty clever, huh? I'll show you how we do that now. So with the explosion clip, you want to have it selected. And we need to go over here to Effects, click Keying, and choose Mask. What we'll do is we'll just drag that right on top of that clip and let go and now we have a mask applied by default the mask is created at this very large square what we want to do is resize that and invert it because we want this entire layer to be visible because this is the one that holds our explosion so what we'll do is go over to the inspector you want to be on the video tab and then you'll see your mask effect we want to invert our mask so that we're just cutting out this little box and then we can resize it. What I would do is drag these handles in nice and close because it's a small object and we just basically want to fit the mask to the edges of our little iPhone stunt double. And your mask doesn't have to be perfect as long as, as long as your underlying layer is lined up just right. Let's roll with that. So now we have our explosion clip. We need to have that same frame underneath it. So what we'll do, let's just drag this right on top of our iPhone clip. Without really even messing with it, we can see we have a pretty solid mask going on here. If you click the underneath layer and hit V, you can hide it, and you'll see our mask. I'd say we should take out this little blue part right here. So click the clip that has the mask on it. Here's our mask handles. Let's just drag that mask over a little bit. 
I don't know, that looks pretty close to me. So if we go up here to the view option, where it says 200%, click fit, and just take a look, scrub the playhead a little bit. I think it looks good. So basically what you end up with is a clip similar to this. That playback is kind of laggy, but you get the idea. You can use that for almost any situation where you want to trick your friends into believing that you, well, blew up your iPhone 6. <laughs> That's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you learned a little bit about masking, and I can't wait to see you right back here next week. If you're interested in watching the full video, all you have to do is click this box. It's titled Epic iPhone 6 Ben Test. Please leave your comments and let me know what you think.